in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed There are spirits that control timing to impact based on whatever territory you come from. Maximum two years and your relevance diminishes. It looks like the spirit of the city. There are cities people travel to and no longer flourish. People who blossom and do well and they appear somewhere and they become victims of the territorial spirits within that place. Jesus did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that we are not alone in this side of his kingdom. And he said to not be ignorance of the devices, the word stratomai, the strategies of the devil. Man of God, you are a man of God here, please pray. End time ministry is not for jokers. If you want to expand, you must build capacity in the spirit. God will not trust you with the destiny of nations and generations except and unless you have stature and capacity in the spirit. Say, I will pray. One more time, let the devil hear you. Do you believe what you are hearing? You can pray your way out of any nonsense. I'm telling you, except you don't take it serious. You, I repeat, you can pray your way. Mm, you can pray your way, sir. Pray your way. This powerlessness. Things are not working. Someone promises to bless you and it's as if a spell is cast on his head. He looks at you and cannot remember again. Pray his remembrance of you. You can pray it again. Listen, please believe this. He said, after two days, this is your third anniversary. That means nobody should be down. It's the heritage of rising that after two days, he will revive us. But he said, on the third day. The third day. On the third day. Let's finish up. Now, I want you to pay attention. The third force is a very powerful one. Listen to me. In all your getting, contend for this third force. It's called the force of favor. Please listen. Believe me with all humility, I know what I'm saying. I want you to pay attention on this one. Otherwise, you will suffer in this life as if the devil, as if God is not alive. I want you to, you, you need to understand the dynamics of favor and the power that they sustain to open doors. They can transform sit you to realms of possibilities they can give you access to men most of us here i submit to you that your prayer point is favor dependent now i've had a lot of teachings about favor i don't talk up against people or whatever but i submit to you by the authority of scripture many teachings about favor are imbalanced and are inconsistent with the structure that god designed for administering favor is why we enjoy them and not walk in the reality of it let me share with you by grace a few thoughts on favor and I pray in the name of Jesus that when next we meet, you will come to your pastor and say, thank you, sir. Thank you for this night. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for bringing to end captivity of 30 years. The force of favor. To understand favor, there are a few things you need to know. Listen, you will not appreciate the, the, the teaching or the concept or the necessity for favor until you understand the following. Number one, that destiny fulfillment is time dependent. This is the first reason you need favor. 
destiny fulfillment your advancement and even producing results in your life is time dependent that means you do not have all the time the the time dependent nature of destiny will necessitate favor as a system of advantage to accelerate you as far as your adventure on earth is concerned if you are to do life from the natural sequence of things time will cheat you listen carefully the first reason why you need favor as a force that opens doors is the time dependent reality of destiny is someone learning number two destiny fulfillment is not only time dependent is men dependent destiny fulfillment is men dependent the fourth church please listen i speak to you by the spirit destiny fulfillment the opening of doors transiting from one realm of impact to the other is men dependent let me show you a scripture for some of you i will remind you of it psalm 115 and verse 16 let's read together in concert when we find it ready is projected one to read the heaven even the heavens are the lord's but the earth has he given to the children of men do you know what that means that the the custodians and the managers of this side of god's kingdom are men this is a statement recognized by god you may have heard me say that if god says yes and men say no the yes will remain in the realm of the spirit while you wallow around as though the word of god were a lie even the manifestation of jesus as the son of the living god the prophetic speaking remain in the realm of the spirit until a human vessel partnered with him in the person of mary if mary rejected that offer the holy ghost will go around again looking for another virgin be it unto me i choose to partner with heaven to make the word become flesh are we together as powerful as jesus was and is he needed an encounter with three men for his destiny to open up number one simeon the prophet number two anna the prophetess number three john the prophet that you call john the baptist men dependent your jesus walked under a closed heaven for 30 years till a man opened his heaven jesus the son of the living god there was no mention of the heavens open over him there was no mention of the holy ghost coming up him in spite of his diligence learning the law until he submitted to the ministry of a man and the bible says and the heavens opened many believers are ignorant as to the laws of the kingdom please i want you to listen very carefully is, is someone learning so the second reason why we need to study the subject of favor is that destiny fulfillment are men dependent the third the third reason why we need to activate favor as a force that opens doors in our lives is because the bible tells us without missing words that the whole world lies in wickedness under the siege of satan you find that in first john 5 19 first john 5 19 the bible tells us that we know that we are of god and the whole world the whole world not abuja so you run to america the statement is still true run to uk it is still true run back to your village is still true run to your uncle's house it is still true that the whole world the jurisdiction of evil is the whole world the whole world lieth in wickedness that means it is unnatural for a man to just like you and invest in your life it is unnatural for a man to forget about his own destiny and invest his credibility his resources his endorsement it is not natural with men the whole world are yet in wickedness when you find people dedicating their attention towards you you must have outsourced an advantage it's called favor may that be someone's story in the name of jesus the son of the living god watch this what is favor let me define in the simplest of terms favor according to scripture is to be given unusual kindness number two to be given unusual access number three to be given unusual acceptance you have to understand this these are the tripartite features of biblical favor 
unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance there's no time i would have shown you from scripture that if these tripartite forces watch this do not exist in your life you have something else not favor unusual kindness don't forget unusual access and unusual acceptance kindness enough do, alone does not make it favor access alone does not make it favor acceptance alone does not make it favor another point to lovingly correct which i think has been a statement for a very long time in the body of christ and i have observed with all honor and respect to the body of christ is the concept of favor generically speaking being unmerited it's not entirely true favor like wisdom is in dimensions and there are certain dimensions in fact only one dimension of favor is credited to be unmerited the favor that has to do with the administration of salvation every other dimension of favor can be engaged go to proverbs 13 15 and let's read what the bible says let's read together if you're a christian one to read good understanding one more time good understanding one more time it says but the way of the transgressor you know who the transgressor is the consistent violator of an ordinance or a law he says the way of the transgressor even if a christian is hard good understanding there is a relationship between understanding and favor are we learning now so because of these three reasons we must open up ourselves to access favor that number one destiny actualization is time number two destiny fulfillment and um, dependent number three the reality of wickedness sweeping across the length and the breadth of the whole earth so the force of favor let's look at two or three scriptures Genesis chapter 39 if you're with me please say amen Genesis 39 we'll read the first four verses Genesis 39 let's see how this grace worked in the life of joseph the bible says joseph was brought down from egypt remember the story and potiphar an officer of pharaoh captain of the guard an egyptian brought him of the hand bought him of the hand of the ishmaelites which had brought him down tether too it says but the lord or and the lord was with joseph watch this and he was a prosperous man it says and he was in the house of his master the egyptian watch the character of favor and his master saw that the lord was with him and that the lord had made all that he did to prosper in his hand for and joseph found grace in his sight and he served him and he made him what overseer over his house unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 very popular scripture on favor 3 21 exodus 3 21 it says and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians you need to understand those who are about to favor them the same people who punished them and kept them in captivity for 430 years when it has to do with favor ladies and gentlemen god can use anybody 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 just because the person hated you yesterday does not mean the person cannot be used by God to bless you today and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty scripture number three on favor Ezra chapter 7 and verse 6 look at this Ezra chapter 7 verse 6 the Bible says and Ezra went up from Babylon and he was a ready scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. Watch this. And the king granted him how many? How many? Unusual kindness, unusual access, 
unusual acceptance the king granted him all his requests but that request was granted not according to the wish of the king according to the hand of the lord his god that was upon him that means the king was not himself there was something on joseph that was commanding a yes from the king you would see the king saying yes to everything it was not a generic reality there were people hearing no every day but because there was a grace upon ezra every time he spoke to the king he was compelled by the influence of that favor to grant him all his requests then are we learning the force of light the force of prayer the force of favor whilst you are seated in one minute if you can please lay your hands on your head and begin to declare in the name that is above all names that favor begins to work on in your life favor begins to work in your life in the name of jesus access to unusual kindness someone pray access to unusual acceptance access to unusual kindness from all and sundry open your mouth and pray to the end that all closed doors be open to the end that all closed doors be open lord send help from zion let it come as favor in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let me give you the fourth force is someone learning tonight the fourth force that controls the opening of closed doors in the life and the destinies of believers is the force of prophecy the power and the mystery of the prophetic lend me your attention now please the force of prophecy Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13 Hosea 12 13 here's what it says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. He brought them out of Egypt. Brought them out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. In Exodus chapter 14, when you begin your reading from verse 13, we'll jump for sake of time. Let's do 13 to 18. Then we'll jump a few other verses. Follow the story carefully. This is the nation of Israel standing before the Red Sea. Watch what prophet Moses was doing. As a leader and a prophet moses said unto the people fear not stand still and see the salvation of the lord which he will show to you today somebody say today i like it he didn't say which he will show to you any day today for the egyptians whom ye have seen today is shall see them again no more forever the next verse god will fight for you and ye shall hold your peace verse 15 Moses now comes and cries to the Lord and the Lord said speak unto the children of Israel what did he say to tell them speak he didn't say push them speak the, the emotion the ability to move that door called the Red Sea is hidden in your prophecy it is amazing that you can do many things with that same mouth you can lament or you can speak prophetically tell them that they go forward that means they will go the direction of your prophecy if you say stay there an influence will come from your word and keep them to remain there he said they are standing in front of the sea it is not the power of the sea that may move forward. it is the power of the prophetic tell the people that in spite of that door that is closed they can still move forward verse 16 it says but lift up now thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea to divide it can you imagine you see, when god talks to men he doesn't talk to men like he's talking to men he talks to men like he's discussing with himself so you you need faith to walk with god because god will tell you a lot of things that will disturb you and he will act as if he's not aware that that statement is troubling you you can be discussing you can you can go to his presence with a backload of, of debts, a rent issue, and God is already telling you, you know, there are 500 people whose school fees we need to pay, and he will not even talk about the rent 
issue because it is his character to call the things that be not as though they were you must learn the economy of god when you approach his presence like they train you to get to the buckingham palace there are things that even if it were not natural with you you are forced to do it because of the atmosphere you have entered you must understand the protocol of the speakings of god he will not come and speak with you like he's speaking to a man because you were created in his image he will be agreeing with Satan if he spoke to you like a fallen man. So he speaks to you like he's speaking to himself. Even if you are Gideon, he will not call you the weak one. He will call you, oh thou mighty man of valor. Is someone learning? The prophetic is very powerful. We are products of prophecy. Now let's read on to 18 verse 17 now watch this and behold i will harden the hearts of the egyptians and they shall follow them and i will get me honor upon pharaoh and upon his host upon the chariots and upon the horsemen verse 18 it says and the egyptians shall know that i am the lord when i have gotten me honor upon pharaoh upon his chariots and upon his horsemen please jump to verse 26 same chapter for sake of time jump to 26 watch this and the lord said to moses you are a prophet over the people don't leave them in that calamity stretch out thy hand over the sea so that the waters now they had walked on dry ground are we together now and the egyptians were following them did you see that that sea was not just a sea it was a door because when it opened it was dry i told you doors can be circumstances doors can be human entities and doors can be spirits you will stand in front of a wall and be deceived thinking is a wall until you start prophesying you will see that wall break into two and open hither and tether and watch this the same technology that opens doors is the same technology that can close doors if that door remain open now you will learn that there are closed doors that god himself closes this door now had been opened the implication of that indefinite opening is that the egyptians were also coming when the nation of israel got to the other side the lord now is about to close that door watch this and the lord says to moses stretch forth your hand and he stretched forth his hand to the sea and the bible says the sea returned to its strength when the morning appeared and the egyptians fled against it and the lord overthrew the egyptians hallelujah in the midst of the sea 28 and the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of pharaoh that came into the sea after them and there remained not so much as one of them we're reading to the last verse it says but the children of israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea and the waters were a wall on them on their right side and on their left 30 thus the lord saved israel that day out of the hand of the egyptians and israel saw the egyptians dead upon the seashore the last verse and israel saw the great work which the lord did upon the egyptians the bible ends by saying here and the people feared the lord and believed the lord and also his servant moses listen every time i teach on the prophetic i'm very quick to observe sadly that because of the current context of the church and God is helping us there have been all kinds of abuses unfortunately and sadly around the prophetic because of the mismanagement of that office that gift and that ministry um, it has it has brought a lot of devaluation to the power the potential and the extent even the role that the prophetic has to play in the life of people make no mistakes about it ladies and gentlemen whilst on one hand we admit that there is a lot that needs to be corrected as far as the prophetic extending to the apostle is concerned but you will be making a big mistake to throw the baby and the bath water because destinies are made by prophecy listen carefully if jesus needed three prophets for his destiny to stabilize three three for redemption to happen simeon the prophet anna the prophetess john the baptist it took the ministry of three prophets 
to open up his heavens there are limitations that many people face in life watch this in ministry and in destiny there are certain doors that stand before you that you may not have the level of spiritual intelligence the level of prayer intelligence to be able to push those doors open that is the reason why god sends prophets watch this now he sends men and women that he has anointed by the election of grace alongside the sacrifice of alignment and he has put grace and power upon their lips they can speak to certain doors even ancient doors and tell them lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ye ancient doors the king of glory wants to come in and he says those doors be open and the door said who is this king of glory and he says the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle your destiny can be stagnated indefinitely regardless your education regardless the people you know regardless the advantage that you have within a territory this is where the assignment of the prophetic comes the assignment of the prophetic is to bring restoration one time the sons of elijah they were undergoing mentorship and then they needed to go to the other side they said where we meet with you is too straight and while they were cutting the wood the bible says one of them who borrowed an axe the head fell in the sea and he shouted and he said alas master for it was borrowed if that guy tried to get into that water he would have drowned and died for nothing the this is why i'm here where fell it let me know where it and the Bible says, when he threw a stick there, the axe head began to float. Is that in your Bible? When there was an economic situation of national magnitude, it took more than economists to come and solve the problem in a land called Samaria. Exempted from it, the king and the prophet. prophet comes to samaria and sees that women the king watch what was happening that women were boiling their children and eating you can imagine that level of hardship at least abraham wanted to kill isaac he didn't kill him but this one the women did not even tell the children they would die they just boiled them and ate them are we together yes and at that time the prophet came by the spirit he did not speak over a person he did not speak over a church he spoke over nations there are there are cadres in the prophetic there are graces that are only allotted to speak to individuals there are graces that are allotted to speak to predefined territories but like jeremiah there are graces that grants you authority over nations to root out to pull down to build to plant hallelujah and he spoke over samaria and said by this time tomorrow now i don't know whether the prophet believed his statement himself that was a very serious risk and when he made that statement one of the advisors and the aides of the king said you are a foolish man even if god will open the windows of heaven would this happen and he said you see you are you are about to taste will see but you will not partake of it watch what began to happen the bible says there were four lepers oh i like this four lepers they were totally incapacitated but the spirit of prophecy started moving around to find actors when god speaks don't there are too many men on earth everybody will not tell god no if your uncle was to be used and he says no the spirit of prophecy is intelligent enough to go even to america and raise a help and bring for you listen listen we are not teaching on the prophetic now but you must understand the character of the prophetic when god speaks usually as far as the creative dimension of the prophetic is concerned no name is mentioned except in a few cases do you know why because god respects the will of men if i prophesy and i say this man on suit 
is going to help this man I have limited the operation of that prophecy but if I say in the name of Jesus Christ I make declarations that help comes to you from Zion God can come to this man and he can say I'm not interested God will respect his will it the Spirit of God is patient to vet the heart of everybody till he finds a willing heart the Bible says how forcible are right words when the prophetic leaves is like an arrow I hope you know every word that comes from God moves like a messenger and it must return and tell him I finished what I've done that means if the word God said has not returned it means he's still working there is he's still moving around maybe he tried Abuja and it did not work by now it's gotten to Portacot or to to Kano it does not matter where to fish help from four lepers because the prophet of God spoke hold on did you know that the guys who gave up their food always had it did you know that the lepers were always there what then was the difference the activator of that possibility was a prophetic four lepers sat down and they did not even know what started moving them they said why sit we here till we die why didn't they think about it two weeks before no the same way the helper of your destiny now says is a long time I called this man no he did not just think I'm telling you there is a spirit that moves upon men and begins to compel them Lion of Judah the Lamb upon the throne we hail you most high you're the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne. We hail you, Most High. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. When God wants to show a man mercy, these are the forces that God releases to your direction. When God looks at your life and finds you lamenting and crying and say, Lord, when will this door open? Get ready. The force of light comes and I will give you pastors according to my heart Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 the assignment of the pastoral ministry is to expose you to light that means if you don't come to church you are participating with your woe and your tragedy he said when I came into the house of the Lord then understood I there is a realm of understanding that resides within the corporate gathering of the saints they shall feed you with knowledge and understanding acts chapter 20 and verse 20 please give it to us what's the assignment of a good shepherd and how that i kept back nothing that was profitable unto you i showed you all things and i've taught you publicly that is the assignment listen pastors are light bearers they communicate light dimension after dimension line upon line precept upon precept then the force of prayer energized by the power of light you stretch in the spirit I was very humbled last year that this church went through for almost half that year I mean you can imagine the kind of stamina it would have taken even if you are playing not for six months something has to land upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication parable yes sir one of the ways that you receive is to be in company of them that have it are we together now yes the force of prayer and then the force of favor ah this one when it lands on your life it speaks immediately 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 I don't know who I'm speaking to immediately that the force of faith is able to come upon him and rewrite a new narrative over your life after circles of tragedy tragedy 
apostle have been in abuja for many years i love the lord sincerely but this door has refused to open you need the force of favor in luke chapter 2 1 verse 52 the bible speaking about jesus your jesus luke 2 52 and jesus increased in wisdom is that in your bible in stature and even jesus himself needed to increase in favor with god and with men if jesus did not have favor and he sent someone to go to a place where the street divide and use a donkey you don't take that kind of risk until you ascertain that that grace is upon your life there are parts you do not dare if you are not sure of the manifestation of favor and then the force of the prophetic ladies and gentlemen we are products of the prophetic god has helped us to know him and to love him but i can tell you we have voices who told you prophecies are just mere words who told you there is no throne that backs the speakings of God's people just because there are jokers do not mix everybody and no there are men who have a covenant with God little children have you any catch John 21 he said none he said cast your net to the right side he was not could not catch fish they could not find there are times you need to move beyond you can be a skilled fisherman there are times you can have the right tools your net still you will not catch fish at that point you don't need fishing you need the prophetic word from god Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place Salaba Shalakosiata and all doors open and all doors open immediately all doors opened listen in the next five minutes i want you to give your destiny dedicated moments of serious prayer we are going to take some time to pray and that prayer you are going to engage with understanding there are certain doors it's time to rattle them to the foundation the prophetic is coming your way the release of favor is coming your way but for god's sake someone find a corner let your destiny know you mean business and i like you to begin to invest in prayer for the next five minutes is someone pray Sabra katos kata prende kele kosa tabasi. Someone is praying. Shale kapara katos sabra kende kele kosia.
Play the strings for me. Hiya, hiya, ah, hey, 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 hiya, hiya, ah, hey, 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 hiya, hiya, ah, hey, hey. hey. Aya aya ha he he you will never be the same you've touched this grace your life will change you will never be the same you've touched this grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change your life must change your life must change your life must change your life must change. Your life must change. Your life must change. Your life must change. Keep praying. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to mention every door by name that needs and must be open in this conference. Financial doors, doors of fruitfulness, call it by name and declare the season has come that you must open lift your voice and begin to declare lift your voice doors of influence someone is praying doors of divine health doors to your next season someone pray someone pray pray Someone is praying. Be open. Be open. Be open. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 